I messed up. Well, my last production, I was not prepared. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the importance of having a shot list on set. I feel like it gets tossed around a lot. I don't see too many videos out there talking about the importance of a shot list. They just describe how to do it and what to do. Well, guess what, guys? I'm not that kind of guy. I want to share my personal story because that helps me grow. I want to, you know, hear from you guys and hear what you guys have to say with the shot list itself. I look at it like this. A script itself is the business plan. And the shot list is the blueprint or the architectural design. And without the shot list, guess what? Your film set will go chaotic. You won't know what to do. You don't know what to shoot. And your crew will go every which direction because, I mean, there's no communication. There's nothing articulating the vision of the director. So you got to have the shot list to help build up the business. When you have a shot list, a properly written shot list out, it will increase the efficiency of your set. It will help keep everything organized and on time, and it will bring out the alignment of the director's vision as well as manage the budget itself. Without the shot list, the business plan it doesn't even matter because there will be no business. And if you have a good script without a shot list, well, guess what? You have no foundation to go back on and figure out where you need to go. I want to share with you guys a personal story because our last set, Sweet Secret, it wasn't all roses, I'll tell you that. Yes, we had a very nice camera on set. Yes, we had a really awesome cast and crew, but when it came down to the technical side of everything, it was a jumble mess because I was the writer of the script. I was the director of photography. I was basically kind of like a second AD on set. So I wore a lot of hats and I used my wife as the director for that set and instead of communicating with her with the fill, uh, with the shot list I ended up creating the shot list and it was garbage because one we didn't have that prior communication together about where we were where we were going with the vision and so the AD and I were both communicating with the whole shot list itself, but I didn't get my wife in on it. So it turned out to be a disorganized on the day one. We were able to fix it during day two, but there was, there was a lot happening that shouldn't have happened on a film set. And all you can do is just learn from your mistakes, you know? A lot of times we don't have the luxuries like the bigger productions have where we actually had a budget, you know? And so this was a smaller set where we didn't have a lot of money. And so we didn't have a lot of crew to fill all the rules. Needless to say, I took on too many hats and I wrote the script. I uh, did the shot list, you know, but I did have the luxury of having a really awesome first AD on set and an awesome director, which is my beautiful wife. And we sat down together after the first chaotic day of not knowing what to do. And we corrected it really quickly. Being in the indie film world, we don't always have that luxury of having funding for a film project. So what happens is that there's an area that always lacks and it's all due to someone wearing too many hats on set. I mean, let's be honest. We're, we're all humans, right? We all make mistakes. But we can only focus on one thing at a time. Like, we, we're, our, our minds are not able to put 100% focus on every single thing at one time. We can only focus 100% or hyper-focus on one thing 100%, right? So that's where the problem lies. 
on bigger productions, it's very, very easy because you have the luxury of a delegating each position on a film set. When it comes to indie productions and smaller productions, we don't have that luxury nine times out of 10 because let's be honest, it's very hard and very difficult to find the money to fund our productions. And that's just me being real because, you know, as you guys may know, crowdfunding is way oversaturated. Who makes the shot list? Well, the responsibility to shot list falls on the AD and the director of photography underneath the supervision of the director and the guidance of the director. And that's where my failure came into play because I wrote the shot list without communicating to my wife properly, who was the director on the set. Now, the AD, the AD ensures that the shot list aligns with the production uh, and the production schedule. And the DP mainly focuses on all the technical aspects like uh, angles, framing, composition, and, you know, what kind of equipment that you're going to need for each shot. With all that being said, I included in the description box below a shot list template that I just recently updated, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So you guys can download it and use it for your next production. The beautiful thing about this new template is that it can serve for two purposes instead of one. It can serve as your shooting schedule and your shot list, and not just your shot list, you know, so it will benefit you uh, using this on your next production. And the reason why I did it like that is because I know that there's a lot of productions out there that don't have the luxury uh, or means to hire a professional AD on their set. So I am trying to fix that problem to where you guys can still be organized and run an efficient set. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys haven't done so already, go to the comment section below, download that template, and all I can say to you guys is practice, practice, and practice. Don't give up. These are my words of wisdom to you. Don't ever give up. Keep growing. Keep learning. Keep strengthening your skills because that's what's going to make you really good. And, you know, to be a good filmmaker is to keep that open mind. No matter how many years of experience you have in this industry, always keep an open mind because you're going to be continually evolving and continually learning. If you guys enjoy this content, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel, click the bell notification for more content to come. Thank you.